Hi, I am Girish Rwasra and today we are going to learn how to connect NetUSA emulator through a DPC driver and also we will write one application or you can say that the Perl programming through which we will connect to NetUSA emulator and we will retrieve some data from the emulator or you can say that the NetUSA data warehouse appears. Before we will start, let's check that our NetUSA emulator is working perfectly or not. The emulator is showing online, host is also running and foo is also running. So start with uh, our putty, uh, write uh, the IP address of our NetEasy emulator, it's a 192.168.91.130, start it, our uh, user ID as ng and uh, ask for password. So, give uh, ng as a password as well, and uh, let's check the list of databases inside this ng SQL. A list of databases is uh, HTTP, master DB, it's a template on the system, and the test TV. So, right now we are in the system database you are having the password as uh, having the user as admin. So let's check the tables which is present here inside the system. Uh, we are having customer, customer underscore ext, and so on. We are having so many tables over here. Let's uh, select some data from customer itself. Yeah, fine. Our uh, emulator is working perfectly. And now, uh, before starting the connectivity of this ODBC, we'll have to check that our uh, that is our ODBC driver is installed in my system or not. So it is saying that IBM that is our ODBC driver is already installed in my system. You need to install it if uh, you want to connect it through uh, that is an emulator. Then we have to install it. So it is saying that already installed. And uh, then after we have to go back into that administrative tools. OTPC, then uh, we have to create a new one. So, I in fact I have already created. So, so it is a connection. So, we we'll configure it as a, in the DSN option. Now, uh, we have to give a data source name, whatever the data source name you want to give, you can give it. It's I have given a native connection, and the server, uh, server IP address is this uh, IP address which is there. IP address 192.168.91.130. So I have given that one. My database is system. Username is admin and the password is password. P A W S W O R D password. It's uh, the default one which I have given admin and password. We can uh, give uh, a user which we have created inside our NetEasy database. We can give the username and password which we have created. Then test the connection. I hope it will get successful. And yeah, it is showing that connection attempted successful. So, okay, press okay. And okay. Now, our next part is uh, let's uh, start with our Agnity workbench also. Let me show you that. It will take a little bit of time, a few seconds it will take. You can see here the database. Uh, let's check that uh, it is getting connected through this net. Is our DVC driver or not? So let's select this one. Okay, 
will show you the list of all the databases which is present inside the native web data warehouse app here and it's all so getting connected if any problem is there then we need to check that where is the chat the problem yeah, we are getting connected now. History DB, Master DB, System, and Test DB. These all databases there inside our uh, is a data warehouse app. Yes, yes. If I am not wrong, this History DB, Master underscore DB, System, and Test DB, the four databases. So, History DB, Master DB, System, and Test databases we are getting connected. So, anyone can connect it in for the DB connection of this Test DB. Press OK save it so definitely it will come over here it will take some time to connect uh, to take the data from database to this workbench so let me tell you what uh, is this HGBT workbench it's a kind of uh, GUI you can say that where you can write your uh, uh, SQL queries communicate with this uh, Netiza data warehouse appliance uh, this emulator so you can write the query over here you can execute it you can edit it everything you can do over here it will get defected into that emulator itself it is taking some time meanwhile uh, uh, let's uh, see some other It's a full programming you can see here. It's a already already installed in my system. So it's a part of this whole interpreter. Then we are using a database uh, interface to connect with it. Then after we are having some data source names and that is a connection. If you remember this net is a connection and that uh, ODBC this net is a connection name must be same. And after only we are able to get connected and then after my dbh dbi connect dbi what you see data source name admin is my username and password is my password and then after just we are writing to prepare one uh, query select a star from customer and then we are putting it into an array so let's run this so that account my code is present in desktop to the PL and uh, I hope uh, we'll get all the data which is present inside the customer table because uh, we have got connected with this uh, DBC driver yes uh, visualizations so we are getting all the data which is present inside the customer table let's uh, validate whether this all data is present inside the customer table or not customer yeah we are getting 1011011101 actually it is not properly arranged that's why uh, we are not able to see the perfect one we have to write some codes inside the for programming and then after only we are able to see the perfect uh, row and column wise the tables so this is it uh, how to write the application and connect with the ODVC drivers and uh, some effort to connect with this agility workbench yes this is our agility workbench and uh, this is my database the system database master db test db and history db anywhere you can write any command over here like uh, let uh, orders is uh, our table which is present inside the system and uh, we are not getting connected with the system so let's check that which table is present inside this test db got connected to that let's check that so sample table test underscore tab so let's select some data
by closing the button, close the roof. tab we need to see yes finally we got the output from there let's verify it so let me start from the tab yes same data we are getting from as a native workbench as well as the native library monitor thank you for your patience this is it for today Thanks, thanks a lot.